Patty can be an agent of change. Enlisting divers, enlisting the powers that the Patty members have, to spread the word, to engage people, to engage the world, to take care of the ocean. It takes care of all of us. There wasn't very much to diving until Bill Berta did this. When I first started uh, getting involved in certification was when I took a course in Ohio in 1964. I was never certified. I was never a certified open water diver. Some of the classes we, we, we wrote ourselves because Patty didn't exist in the beginning. Back then it was pretty simple stuff. and. Uh, Although some of it was quite difficult. We had only double hose regulators, big harnesses with safety clips and crotch straps and weight belts on the outside to be sure they could ditch and dive down and big squally masks and uh, that was it. And the course was really very interesting because it was very heavy on the physical aspects of diving. We had beginning diving in advanced of water, and then we, started, we taught underwater photography, we taught spear fishing, we taught marine biology, and we taught gold dredging and gold panning. When my dad and John first started Patty, they were in the basement of John's apartment in Chicago, and they wrote out a complete and total blueprint of how Patty was going to progress. And John knew business and could make Patty work. John couldn't write the program or the curriculum. Ralph could. And so Ralph was the educator and he wrote the program the curriculum. So as a team, they knew they had to build Patty up to what it is today. And they both worked side by side to make that happen. Well, you have to realize at that time too, Patty had competition. And so Patty had to be best or else it would never, it'd never be where it is today. So Patty was always trying, trying, trying to be tops and they did it very well. Patty came into the picture in Weather Ross and, and they immediately had a presence and they, they had uh, they had some people at uh, New Marketing and that provided a lot of opportunity because the retail dive stores were looking for and and they needed a, a, a partner to offer them the opportunity for growth and in uh, the, the training and the, and the services that Patty offered were extensive. And when we started using the, the Patty program on my first Patty course, I was amazed when I got to our training pool location, the students helped me with the dive gear and one of the students said, is this the alternate air source? I was just amazed at how much information the students knew from reading the Paddy Revised Open Water Diver Manual. And on the Paddy course, we had more fun and were better prepared for the open water dives. And so to Paddy's credit, and I really think this is what has helped to make Paddy and Paddy facilities so successful, is the open-minded approach. Okay, give us your idea. How do you think this will work? Does this fit the attaining and retaining divers? And that's what we're trying to do, is we need to get people diving and we need to keep them diving. But I think that's why Patty's a leader, is because they would always take innovative ideas and they would roll with them and everybody would be like, oh, I don't know if that's gonna work. And they would give us the tools and the training and the education to show us how. Well, I think Patty evolved as, as did Prodive Cans and as Prodive Cans got bigger, Patty became more and more an integral part of our business because most of our clientele came to us to some degree because of the Patty brand. Because then and even now, I think a lot of people who are learning to dive certainly see or know of Patty over any of the other diving education systems that exist around the globe. And yeah, you know, when people used to come into our dive shop at the time and say, I want to do my Patty, you knew that the Patty brand was the brand that you had to have. Patty knew early on that we needed to grow the industry, we needed to get youth involved, and we needed to start or continue or support creating future divers. Patty's been a huge part of that. 
we are divers. We're gonna go wherever we wanna go. And I think that's also really cool about sort of Patty helping nonprofits like mine is we go, we wanna go around the world. We don't wanna go where it's easy diving. You know, a lot of people with disabilities wanna actually face the challenges that um, sort of slammed them in the past. So uh, to go to different live dive locations where you do have the local sort of picking up the wheelchairs and putting them in the boats and stuff, um, it's been, that kind of stuff is really cool to see other cultures sort of embracing other people with disabilities and diving is that sort of um, catalyst and which has been awesome to sort of witness. Certainly with the increase in new diver certifications that, that Patty brought to the industry, not only nationally but on a global basis, uh, we definitely saw an increase in equipment sales. As people became confident divers through training, they certainly want to buy equipment so that they can enjoy the activity whenever they want. Over the years, the uh, PADI Diver Training Program has been able to adapt very well to the marketplace. So I think the greatest contribution PADI has made is they've made it easier for people to learn how to dive and how to dive safely. Over the years, sometimes I let my ego get in the way and Patty would make me mad. Um, but I gotta tell you, without Patty, we wouldn't be what we are today, which is one of the most popular dive destinations in the world. And I really owe it all to Patty. Almost 50 years for Patty, 40 something for Eurodivers, and nothing of this would have been possible with the enormous amount of instructors and staff that basically bring to the people, to our clients, all these benefits which we are talking about. So I think we should remember all these instructors, many of them are with us, many of them are not with us, but I think if every single one of them is the one that contributed to the success of PADI and all of us together. So when I think about what PADI has done in the past 50 years, you know, to advance diving, what, what it's done most is it's a, given me the tools, it's given every diver a tool, to be able to really get out there and enjoy themselves because that's why you became a diver. As a supporter of DEMA, Patty has been unmatched. They've always contributed, they've always supported us, they've always helped us, and the goal has always been to grow the industry. Um, John Cronin said it best, you know, rising tide floats all boats, and if we do that uh, as an industry organization together with all of our members, and certainly Patty is a strong player, I think we're going to be successful. My excitement for diving is going unique places around the world and seeing what's underwater. And I think that's why people get into diving is to travel and experience new locations and cultures and underwater critters that are amazing. There are a lot of ways you can use diving as a tool, and sometimes we forget about the basic part of diving, that you're where very few people get to go. You get to see the most beautiful things, not only on the earth, but underwater. The real reason we got into diving is because it's wonderful, it's fun. Diving is cool and fun and can even be an extreme sport. And that's what young people are looking for, and that's what they want to do, and not only just go dive underwater, but they want it to be cool and fun. Patty had a philosophy which really made a lot of sense to me, and that philosophy is very, very simple. Very, very simple. Patterned after the four E's, which I really appreciate, and I, I honor that today. I love education, and education has to continue daily and the equipment that we're using today, you have to be in focus with that. And then the experience, I mean, look at the experience of thousands and thousands of hours of these professional instructors. And then what we're doing together with all the resort diving is really protecting our environment. Uh, in diving business, we all want to make money, but I can make money elsewhere. But as far as I'm concerned, if the environment is damaged, it will be difficult to recover it and it could be permanent. That's why I used to say that environment in diving business is our silent partner. They don't speak, they don't talk, but if they are ill, we are all going to be sick. I, I would say to divers, paddy divers, family, uh, become more and more aware and interested about the marine environment and how we are connected to it. 
and share that with other people. And automatically the reaction is for people to want to know more, well, they're going to want to become divers. And I think uh, Paddy has a chance to, besides certifying people, getting an opportunity for those people to become the ambassadors of the marine environment. And it's going to make other people wanting to become divers and wanting to protect the ocean. You know, John and Ralph, thank you for getting so many people excited about the ocean and seeing it firsthand. Because if you're going to protect something, you have to fall in love with it. And divers, we fall in love every time we splash off, you know, the side of a boat or do a shore dive or every time we're in the water, it's like being reborn. But the feelings that you get when you're diving uh, really empower you to, to want to be proactive to ensure that we have this not only for us, but for future generations. The next 50 years for Patty. What do you want to do? How to make a difference? Well, there's one sure way. That's use your power to focus on special places in the ocean. Call them hope spots, if you will. And Think about what can be done to energize local support, your support, the power of knowing, translating to caring, which, which can grow to taking us from a place where we are now, the beautiful areas that are still pristine, keep them that way. Areas that have been degraded, find ways to restore them. Support the idea of getting your constituency Make it like a badge of honor. We will be champions. We will be ambassadors for hope spots, for the ocean, to restore hope for, for ourselves, for the world, for, for the ocean, for sure. This is a moment in time, armed with the benefit of 50 years of experience, 50 years of being witnesses to the change that has taken place what better time to say we want to be agents of change in a positive way for the next 50 years. <laughs>